Hey guys, this is Tech in the Classroom, and this is Brandon Wilmarth with More Public Schools. Uh, we did a video a couple months ago about how to back up your Chrome bookmarks and your desktop and your favorites, and now you've got Windows 7, now you get to restore it. And today with me I've got uh, Dom, he's going to help us out. So Dom, I'll let you take it over, you tell me what to do. Hey guys, how's it going? So let's start by going uh, with your Start button. Then you'll find uh, My Computer on the right hand side, so click that. All right, let's start by going into your H drive first. So double click your H drive. And like Brandon said, everybody made a backup folder a couple months ago, so find your backup folder and double click it. All right, so there's everything you backed up. So now let's go back down to your Start button and let's open up um, a different window. So hit Start. Go back to My Computer once again. This time you're going to double click your C drive or your local C disk at the top. All right, now, you're going to look for a folder called Users, which is usually kind of at the bottom. All right, double-click that. Then find your name and double-click your name. All right, so this is where we need to be. So uh, in your H drive on the left-hand side, uh, find your desktop folder, then drag, drop and drag it down to the uh, other window in the white space. That way we don't get any errors or anything. So I just left click and drag and drop. Left, left, left click and drag and drop like everybody else does. And this will pop up usually. And yes, you, you do want to replace your desktop, so hit yes. And it kind of copies everything over. You see how everything just pops in on the side. So. That's cool. So it automatically brings automatically, back everything that I had before. It does. If this window pops up for you, check that box that says do all for do this for all conflicts. Then check that top button that says copy and replace. It doesn't look like a button, but it is a button. So click that. And it finishes that up. So now let's go back to your C drive and do the same thing for your favorites. So left click and just drop and drag in the white space on, on that side. And this will pop up, so same thing, you do want to replace your favorites, so click yes. And this should pop up for everybody, so do this for all the conflicts and click that button there. And this will probably pop up as well, so check the box at the bottom so it does it for all your conflicts, so it just replaces everything and click yes. And now all your Internet Explorer favorites are back in there, too. So now let's tackle Chrome. So open up Chrome there at the bottom, or wherever your Chrome is. It's probably going to be on your desktop somewhere, but you, you'll see Chrome. There we go. All right, now that Google Chrome is open, you're looking at a screen similar to this. So uh, it's the same process, but in reverse. So uh, hit, hit your hamburger button, or your Chrome menu button. Now, do I need to sign in? You don't have to sign in, but if you want to, you can. And if you sign in, it will restore your bookmarks. Oh, okay. So that does it automatically. It does it automatically for but you. But if for some reason I don't know my Google password, I can just do this process right here. Go yes. to settings and then... Uh, go to uh, bookmarks. bookmarks. Okay. Then uh, bookmark manager. Okay. Uh, do I need to... Okay, just bookmark manager. Yep. Then uh, in the middle, click organize. Then you want to import bookmarks this time. And that's already in my H drive under my backup folder. It's already there pointing for me. So. so there's my backup. I know I'm in my backup folder. Right. And there's that. Yep. Okay. And, and just open it up. Yeah, it'll create your bookmark bar for you, and all, there's all your, uh, your Chrome favorite bookmarks. It's okay. that simple. And if you happen to have this version of Chrome and you're looking at this page going, well, where's that button, that Organize button, actually go to the uh, Settings cog over to your right. And all you have to do is go to Import Bookmarks, and you'll have a very similar experience to what we just did with Dom. And you'll have all of your Chrome bookmarks. So that's that. As always, if you have any questions or need anything, just give me a call, email, Brandon Wilmarth at More Schools. And, well, we'll see you in the next video.